What's up guys, XM360 here, and in today's video I have a laser comparison that a lot of my viewers have been commenting and asking for. This one's going to be a comparison between the Thor M2 laser, the Wicked Lasers Arctic laser, uh, the 1 watt model, and the kind of Gatling gun style Chinese 1 watt blue laser. So all three of these are in the 445 to 450 nanometer blue range, and they all advertise at about 1 watt. So I've, I've reviewed all three of these already, but I'm going to kind of do a comparison to talk about the pros and cons of each one compared to the other and kind of talk about which one I like best and which one I think you guys should buy. Now, all of these are going to be just, I'm just comparing the lasers themselves and not what comes with them. And I'll put links down below to all the information in the description. And before I start, I also want to go on to say that if you do go and buy any of these lasers, make sure you practice proper laser safety, you know, don't point it at any living thing or at anybody's property or at planes or anything like that. And make sure that you use laser safety glasses at all times. And I'm going to start by, I'm going to kind of do it by like categories. I'm not going to do it by laser itself. So the first category I wanted to talk about is the host. And the first one, the top ranked one for the host has to be the Arctic. The Arctic has a really cool host. It is solid metal construction. All three of them are solid metal construction, but the Arctic just has a really cool looking host with a bunch of cool looking features and the smart switch and the little safety pin. And it's just a really good solid construction. And I do like how they do the lenses on the top too, how you can interchange the lenses by unscrewing them up there. So overall, I do like the host of the Arctic the best. And then next up, I'd probably say the host of the Thor M2 because it has a nice kind of like focusing twisting feature. And I think the host of the Thor M2 is very streamlined and it's very solid feeling as well. And then last on my list for host is going to be the Chinese 1 watt laser. I've, I've always felt this one kind of looks a little bit goofy. I mean, it is solid metal like all three and all three have the little push button on the very bottom, but... I've always thought this one was kind of strange looking how they built it and some people think it looks cool but I've never really been a big fan of it so next category is going to be the focusing feature and the burning capability and as for the burning capability I found that with a focusing feature all three of them had very similar burning capability but I like the focusing feature on the Thor M2 the best. I found that twisting the little head of the laser, kind of like the top half, I just found it very easy to focus in a fine dot on the Thor M2 within like a couple of seconds. Whereas with the second choice, which is going to be the Chinese Gatling gun style laser, I felt that it took a little bit more time to focus in a perfect dot and get some good burning going. And then with the Arctic, which falls in at three, I gave this one the bottom because it doesn't even come with a built-in focusing feature. You have to pay an extra $50 to get a focusing lens to actually do some burning, which I think is awful. I mean, you could rig something up with a magnifying glass, but I just think it's crazy that with this laser being more than double the price of the other two options, that it doesn't include a focusing capability and that you have to pay an extra $50 to get a focusing lens. And since I'm talking about the topic of price here, I made this little spreadsheet with some of the different topics. And for the price category, it goes in order of the Chinese 1 watt Gatling gun style at about $40, then the Thor at about $55, and then way out in left field you have the Arctic at about $200. So you can see just from this that the pricing on the Arctic is just not even competitive anymore. I mean, maybe like back in like 2008 when these things were a bit more um, cutting edge technology and that more people didn't have these, these were harder to come by. Maybe you could have asked that price reasonably, but nowadays there's just so many people selling one watt blue lasers out there. And I think it's crazy that they still think they can get 199 for theirs. I mean, yeah, their host is nice and all, but I don't think it's worth all that extra money. So next up is the power category and these measurements are in watts and I use my laser B A LPM to get these measurements. The Thor M2 comes in at 1.275 watts and then second place is the Chinese 1 watt at about exactly 1 watt pretty much. And then in third place there's the Wicked Lasers Arctic and this one's kind of iffy because the 1 watt model, the one that I'm reviewing in this video is an older generation it's from 2010 and the the older generations of the arctics are very under spec so 
the one that I currently have right here that's labeled at 1 to 1.25 watts is only actually about 700 milliwatts of power or like 0.7 of a watt. Now I have heard reports that the newer generations of the 1 watt model are actually on spec or a little bit over spec so it's tough to say if you do want to get an arctic and you do want it to be a true 1 watt laser look for something with a label that has a manufacturing date past like 2012 because that's kind of like when they started getting their act together a little bit as far as the power readings go and they started listing their power readings a bit more accurately but one big category to mention is shipping to the US now the first two lasers the Chinese 1 watt and the Thor M2 both ship to the US but Wicked Lasers will not ship their products to the United States anymore. Now, they cite custom laws about high-powered laser pointers to be the reason. However, you can see that the Thor M2 and the Chinese 1 watt laser are still shipping theirs to the US with no problems. And it's kind of tricky. The law states that you can't ship high-powered lasers. However, Wicked Lasers could just strike the word pointer out of it and call it a module instead and thereby not advertise it as a pointer for pointer purposes. Therefore, technically, I think that would make it legal to ship. It, I don't know. It just really seems like a choice by them because everybody else is still shipping them. And it just seems as though they're not interested in selling to the U.S. anymore. That's just my opinion. But I'm going to kind of bring this to the overall point now. And if I had to rank these three lasers, I would say that the overall ranking would be Thor M2 in first place. Because the Thor M2 has very good focusing capability, good quality, and a fair price, and it is the highest power out of all three of them. Second place would have to go to the Chinese 1 watt laser, because it also is a true 1 watt laser. The price is the best for this one, and while it is a little goofy looking, it still has a solid construction, and it hasn't failed me yet. I've had all three of these for over a year, and none of them have broken on me. And then last place would have to go to the Wicked Lasers Arctic because of the issues with the older models being under spec and the outrageous price combined with the fact that they don't ship to the US so you either have to um, look through eBay frequently in order to find one or post something on laser pointer forums and see if anybody's selling anything on there. But overall the prices for the Arctic are just completely inflated and outrageous for what you're getting especially since it does not have a built-in focusing feature and yeah i think the host is really really cool and if i was to build my own laser i would love to take a broken arctic and pull out the diode and put something inside of that host but overall i'd have to rank the arctic in last place so some things that i didn't really touch upon uh beam visibility i found was very similar on all three there wasn't really much difference on how bright they were um, some other things that you guys might want to know that I didn't mention if there's anything I left out leave it in the comments down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and if you guys have your own opinion on these three lasers let me know down below as well if you guys are new to my channel hit that subscribe button for more awesome laser reviews just like this one and as always guys thank you for watching from XM360